Christmas bells ring, ring Swing in my shopping bag, sing in Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to do a full face of Dior products. Well, nearly a full face. There's a couple of things I don't have of Dior and one is a mascara. And I don't know why I haven't picked up a Dior mascara this year, but that's something I'll do towards the beginning of next year. And the other product that I don't own is a Dior eyeliner. So there are a couple of things that I'm gonna have to pick up in the new year. So some of these products I've used before in other videos. One is the newly released blush that's in the shade Hollow Glam. And today I'm using that again, but I'm gonna use it over the top of another Dior blush. But one of the newer products that I have picked up and I just haven't got round to doing a video on it, and that is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. And that is in the bronze neutrals and it's number 006. Now I've used this about three or four times. I really, really love it. So this is the palette. This also has a eye primer in it as well, but I haven't used it. I've felt it and it's very cream based. So I don't think it would really go with my oily lids. So today I'm just gonna use my usual eyeshadow primer. So I haven't put on any primer yet, so I'm going to use the By Terry, this is the Hyaluronic Hydra Primer, and just pop some of this on. This primer and also the Milk Hydro Grip Primer are the ones I used. And I also dug out of my drawer, it's the Hourglass Veil Primer which I used to use all the time and I've tried it again this week and I still really love that. So it's near the end of the bottle. So when that runs out, I will buy a backup of that. And I've also heard that the Hourglass eyeshadow primer is really good too. So that's another thing I'll pick up in the new year. So for the foundation today, I'm gonna to use the Dior Forever. It's the 24 hour wear high perfection skin caring foundation. I've featured this in other videos, but it's summer here now in New Zealand. So this is a perfect foundation for me. Now I have this in two shades because, and I mentioned this in a previous video I did quite a while ago. I picked up first 3N and this was far too dark. So then I picked up 2.5N and this was perfect for in winter. But today I think I will mix the two and see how that looks. But considering that this is 2.5N and this is 3N, there is a huge difference in the shade range. So I still think that 3N would be too dark for me. So as I said, I'm going to mix them both. So I've put one and a half pumps of the 2.5 in, and then I'm just gonna do half a pump of the three in, and hopefully together that should make a perfect shade. So first of all, I'll just pop it on with my finger, and then I'm going to blend this in using a beauty blender. Those of you that haven't seen the other video on this, this is fragranced, but it is a great foundation for oily skin. So it's not actually as hot as it has been the last few days here. It's overcast and it is raining a little bit today and it's made things a little bit cooler. So that's good. I did a video the other day and I was nearly melting, it was just really hot. It gets very hot in this room. And we have people here at the moment because I'm getting the lounge and bedroom re-wallpapered and just redecorating. So with that type of heat, normally I would open the door here and then put the air conditioning on that's in the other room and then that would cool this room down. But with people here, I can't really do that but I'm hoping it will be finished. Today is Tuesday, and I'm hoping that it'll all be finished by the end of this week. Well, I'm hoping to, because I really wanna get all the Christmas decorations up. 
So this foundation has pretty good coverage. I do have a Dior concealer. It's the Forever Skin Correct and this is in 2.5 N. Now this concealer I've tried a lot of different ways under my eyes trying the tiniest amount possible but it is just slightly too heavy for under my mature eyes. I find that it just settles just a little bit too much but I still like using this for on my face so can't really see it with this foundation a tiny bit of the redness is coming through but for the sake of today's video and that I'm doing a full face of Dior I thought I would use this but I do find this concealer is really beautiful for on my face and if I really want that extra coverage it does give that it is a really lovely concealer and because I don't use that concealer under my eyes I'm going to use today the one that I use a lot and this is the Sisley Eye Concealer and this is in shade number two I find this a really gorgeous concealer it just doesn't seem to settle into my lines under my eyes so I start off with quite, it's not a huge amount, and normally I begin with the Sonia G brush. This is one of the Fusion brushes, and this one is called the Soft Concealer, I think. Yeah, it's the Soft Concealer. And I start off with this brush because I find it really good for getting product right in the inner corner. And then once I've put it on with the brush, then I usually just use my fingertips and just go over and press it in. I just find the warmth from your fingertips just helps sort of melt the product in just that little bit more. And next I'm going to put on my eyeshadow primer. This is the MAC Paint Pot one. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I have the Dior. It's the Kabuki Brow Styler. And this is in the color light brown 031. Now I like the actual product, but I don't like the brush on the end. I just find it just too soft. And I sort of like more of one of those firm type of spoolies to be able to control my eyebrows. So I have the Huda Beauty one here, and this is a really firm spoolie. And this is the one I often use. So I give my eyebrows a bit of a brush to begin with. I'm not overly fussy with my brows. I always put some type of eyebrow pencil on and I tidy them up. And then I put on some gel so they sit there. But I don't spend ages on my brows. It's just not something that I spend a huge amount of time on. So there's two different of gels that I use. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I really like this one. I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And I have a backup of each one. But I think they do quite a good job at keeping my brows in place. So next I'm going to set my makeup. I use two different powders. I've talked about this before in my other videos. The one for under my eyes, I use the By Terry, the pressed powder one. And I use this shade here. And I just place it on with my finger. The reason why I like this powder, I find it a bit hard to explain. But it, it sets my concealer, but doesn't really dry it down too much. So I just find that it doesn't look cakey. For me at the moment, this is just a really perfect powder for under my eyes. Then I just take a fluffy brush like this BK Beauty 102 and I just sweep under my eyes just to make sure, take away any excess powder that might be there. And then I'm just going to set my foundation down. Now this Dior one is fairly matte. It's not a really dry matte. So I'm just going to take the Le Mer, this is the fluffy brush, the powder brush. And I'm going to use, this is the Sisley, this is the loose face powder. And this is in number two matte. 
and I'm just going to put a bit on and buff it in. So this face powder is really, really beautiful. This is fragrance though, but I don't tend to mind it too much. It dissipates pretty quickly after you've put it on. And for the bronzer, I'm going to use the Dior Forever. This is the Natural Bronze. And this is in shade 6. I recently just picked up shade 6. I have this in shade 5, which I use a lot. I really love the formula. But I just thought for summer I would get a darker shade. I've used this a couple of times. And I think it looks really, really nice. I'm going to use the Rafa. This is the Rafa 22 brush. So let's take a look at this eyeshadow palette. As I said, this is a Dior Backstage 1 eye palette. It's the Bronze Neutrals in 006. And here is the colour story. These are my type of colours. They are really, really beautiful. So there's one matte, one shade that's in the middle, the gold one, they call a metal. And the rest are shimmers. And as I said, I've used this palette a few times. I just love this color story and these shadows perform really, really beautifully. So as I mentioned before, the very first, it's not a shade, it's an eyeshadow primer, so I haven't put that on. But this shade is described as a shimmer, it's a warm copper. This one is a shimmer and this is a beige. And this one here is also a shimmer and it's described as a light gold. Though it seems to have a little bit of bronze in there as well. This one is the shade they call metal and that's gold. This one here is a shimmer and they call that bronze. And this one here is also a shimmer and that's called dark red. Then we have the last shimmer and that's dark burgundy and the very last shade is a matte and they call it a smoky black. So I'm going to take the Rafa number 15 brush and I'm going to start off with this shade here and I'm just going to put this just through the crease and slightly above. I'm not going to do a smoky eye today, I'm just going to keep it fairly simple. But these shades blend really, really beautifully. And that's why I've worn it quite a few times. I've definitely reached for it quite a lot since I've bought it. I'm going to take the Rafa number 14 and the shade that they call Warm Copper. I'm going to place some of this through the crease. I just want to deepen it up in here. And I'm just going to go slightly above the crease because... I just want a fairly simple look and I don't want to go full blown out smoky. And then I want to use some of that red shade. That's the one they call dark red. I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the Worker 3 brush, and I'm going to put some of that on the outer corner. And then I'm going to use the shade dark burgundy, but only a little bit. This is the Sony G, this is the mini booster. And I'm just going to put it just a little bit in the crease here. And then I'm going to go into the light gold shade. This is the Chukahodo. This is the F06 brush. And I'm going to put that on the rest of my lid. I'm going to use the Sonji Soft Definer brush and go into the shade, it's another shimmer. This is the one dark burgundy and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. And then finally I'm going to use the only matte shade in here, that's the smoky black one. And I'm just going to put some in my upper lash line. And as I was saying at the beginning of the video, I don't have a Dior mascara. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I'm going to use today the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And once I've done that, I'll pop on some blush. 
And just before I put on my blush, I don't think I mentioned the details about this Dior eyeshadow palette. So it has 10 grams of product. It is made in France and has a shelf life of six months from date of opening. A lot of Dior eyeshadows have that and they last a lot longer than that. But that's what it says on the packaging. So now I'm going to use the Chukahodo brush. This is the F031. And I'm going to use the blush 330 Rayonati. I'm going to put this on first. And then I'm going to put on the newer release one. That is the Hollow Glam. So this is just a really soft coloured blush. But I really like it. I think it's a really pretty colour. And this actually does have a bit of sheen in it, just by itself. So next I'm going to put on the Hollow Glam blush. I wasn't too sure about this the first time I used it, and when I used it in a video a few weeks ago when it was just released. But then I used a really soft blush. I think it was a Chukahodo one. And since I have used it on top of other blushes, and I've reached for the Sonia G, this is the classic cheek brush, and this is a little bit more dense, so you get a bit more pickup of the product. This was also from the House of Atelier Dreams collection, and I've done a couple of videos on the eyeshadows they put out. So this blush has a lot of glitter in it. But it isn't chunky, but it just lifts everything. If you want a bit of sparkle on your cheeks, especially around this time of the year, being holiday season, I think it does look really, really pretty. And then lastly is lipstick. And I only have one Dior Bullet lipstick. So I'm going to have to get some more of those in the new year as well. This one is number 365 and it is called New World. I do have some other lipsticks that came in one of those holiday release palettes that I did a video on. But they're all quite bold lipsticks and I really just want a softer looking one today. And this is a really, more for me, a really beautiful soft colour. So here is the finished look. I really love this foundation. It is a great summer foundation. I also can wear this in the winter as well, but it really has that lasting power for this time of the year. This eyeshadow palette is really gorgeous. This will be at least the sixth time I've used it since I've bought it. I just really love it and I like the red and the gold together as well I think it looks really really pretty I love the blushes I don't have a lot of Dior blushes I've got about four of them the first one I used is just a really beautiful soft color that has a gorgeous sheen to it and then if you want a bit more sparkle that newly released the Atelier of Dreams the Hollow Glam one as long as you use a more dense brush I think it gives a really beautiful look and this lipstick I need to get some more but I do like the formula of this lipstick it is a satin one and it feels really comfortable on the lips and it lasts quite well well especially for me lipsticks don't tend to last that long for me but this one isn't too bad and I just love the way that it looks and love the way that it feels as well and that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye Christmas bells ring ring